Hey guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. It's late and I'm going to bed. I'm tired, it's been a long day. And, uh, but realize that I haven't done a, a video update on the aquaponics system very well, or for, for a very long time. And I keep getting messages, which I'm so thankful for, asking for updates. And that means a lot to me, so thanks a lot. Uh, hit 400 subscribers here recently. And I know, in comparison to, to some people, that's not you know the best number. But for me, this is just a video diary, and for 400 people wanting to to see what we're doing here is uh, I, I don't know. I just it's pretty awesome. So thank you very much. Um, let's just show you the fish. That's what I like to do. As you can see here, the plants aren't anything to get excited about. Nothing. Um, I just haven't had the mental oomph to focus on that and to make it a part of this, especially because I made it so easy to service this system and to flush water to get rid of the nitrates the old fashioned way. And because our irrigation rights are unlimited out here, it, even though I like being a con conserver of water and being sustainable and all that type of stuff, that's the pursuit. Sometimes ease is a significant temptation, and so. Uh, but anyways, the the plants will become a priority because I want to see that successful. That being said, let's sow some fish. Like I said, it's late and there's not a lot of uh, sunlight coming through here, but maybe we can. There's some big, big fish down there. I haven't gotten those little pebbles out of the bottom yet. I've, I've manipulated the system and changed the system so much that it's pushing out a lot of water and a lot of water is flowing through it very, very quickly and doing an excellent job filtering it. But that being said, it's creating a lot of bubbles, which is interesting. Here are the this year's babies. That's white tilapia there. Here's some more blues. Here's some more blues. Lots of fish in a single barrel, huh? That's for sure what you guys are thinking, and I agree. Look how clean that water is. I'm just loving the way the system, look at how big these guys are. I'm gonna try to, try to just sneak up on them so they don't go to the bottom of the barrel. These ones are uh, harvest size. Just need to get around to doing that. These are some of the undersized ones. There's a few that um, got big enough, but there's a couple in there that probably just need to be pulled out or sold or something like that. Here's some really dark, dark colored blues. Just tried to group them by size and what have you. Here's a new breeder tank. As if you've been watching the other films or videos, you've seen that these guys are growing pretty well. So they have ferocious appetite and their growth rate is great. So I'm pleased with them. The light is not over here, so it might be difficult to see. But... Just lots of oxygenation happening just everywhere through this system. You know, it, that's the key. If you haven't been following the videos, what I've got here is that the, the pump is pushing the water through this and out immediately. It's not pushing the water into the sand filter and out because it, this was being plugged so quickly, so often, that I was having to clean that out all the time. So now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, in, I'm relying on this to be the filter rather than this be a filter. 
So all the waste that comes from here is actually quite worked out really well. It's just coming through here, being pushed through, and then being pushed to the system. So here is a filtering up here, and if it makes it through that, then it's gonna be filtered through this big barrel right here and be clean. So super excited about all of that. It's too dark to see anything there. You can see there's lots of oxygenation happening there as well. And the fish are growing out well. It's too dark, can't see anything. But there's just an update from a lot of people, for a lot of people that have been asking for updates. Thanks for watching guys.